Well, here we are, out in the shop, freezing again, middle of winter. Looking at some of the stuff that I use for bogging here. Now, this is a new purchase. And what this is, this is usually used for moving around trailers with a tractor. So it's a three point hitch attachment. At the top, it's got a spot for a receiver. At the bottom, it's got a spot for a receiver. So this is usually quite good for people who own tractors and have trailers to move around. What I'm using it for is actually for towing logs. So I'm gonna use these new, uh, these new, new hooks here and I got three of them on here so one there and then two down there below but I'm gonna use these hooks and they're gonna grab hold of the choker chains that are used for towing out logs now there's one addition I want to make to this thing and what that is is I want to put a bar across the top so a bar across the top to put some of the chains on when I'm not using them some of the chains and cables and all kinds of straps and all that they take up a lot of space and there's really nowhere for me to hang them where they're out of the way and they're not going to get wrapped up or dropped off on the trail somewhere so i'm going to take this bar here and i'm going to weld it on the top of this this particular receiver uh, receiver area so by doing that i'm going to have a spot to hang everything and hopefully that cleans things up a little bit so on future videos, what's gonna happen is you're gonna see me out actually using this. Now, you've probably seen me use it before, but I didn't have these hooks. Now, I bought these hooks because I wanna start using chains in order to drag logs instead of the recovery straps. Now, recovery, recovery straps, they're great, but they can, they can get caught on the ground and they, they fray. So the chains, I got lots of chain kicking around. I'm gonna use that with these hooks in order to uh, in order to make my life easier when I'm out in the bush towing logs. So let's give it a go. I'm gonna grind off all the paint here on the top so I have a good surface to weld to. Fire up the welder and hopefully if all goes well, we'll have a nice bar there on the top to, uh, to store some of the odds and ends that I'm out using when I'm out logging. Anyways, here we go.
Well, I've got 5 16 chain here. This is a chain I tend to use for logging. And uh, I made some marks here. This is about 30 inches long, this entire bar. I'm gonna put four notches per side. I have to make them about as wide as this, so 5 16 And uh, I need to make sure that I don't go all the way down to the bottom because by maintaining some of the, some of the vertical portion on this side of the angle, It'll help to maintain the strength in the bar, so it'll prevent the bar from wanting to, to bend downwards. So I'm only going to put enough of a notch in there so it'll hold the chain. So. needed. Hey. Okay. Well, that's going to work pretty handy. Pretty well. So I guess what I'll do is I'll just clean it up a little and give it a shot of paint and as you can see, the, uh, the setup here for the three-point hitch and the tractor has come along pretty well. So I think this will this will be a good addition to uh, doing some logging out there in the bush. So anyway, stay tuned. Next time we'll come out and we'll put this thing to the test and see if this actually turns out to be useful or whether I just uh, welded an old clunker piece of steel to a brand new three-point hitch for nothing. Thanks for watching. Thanks.